Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very, very warm welcome to your annual forecast for 2024-2025. This is a big year. Of course, all yours are big. All years are big ones, but this one especially so, as the outer planets are moving away from the Earth and water signs, and we're moving now into the air and fire signs. What this will mean is that things are going to speed up exponentially. If you think things are fast now, you haven't seen anything. We're going to see the pace of technology quicken. We're going to see science take new leaps and strides into the understanding of our universe and its mysteries. And we're going to find that everything around us begins to speed up more and more. And because of this, and you're a water sign and extremely sensitive. So more than ever, lovely Pisceans, it's going to be important to be able to be centered and grounded, not escaping off somewhere, but centered in yourself, calm, so that you're able to deal with all these changes and the velocity with which they are likely to unfold. Now, the big news for this year is that Pluto does change sign. It goes back into Aquarius. Yes, it's made its, it went once into Aquarius uh, during this year, but it will come back into Aquarius and it will stay in Aquarius in your 12th house for 20 years. And always when a planet makes its first ingress, that first change point is usually very significant. But more about that in a few moments. Um, but on a global level, this Pluto into Aquarius is going to take us more into creating more of an equitable society where everybody gets to benefit from the riches rather than just the few. So we're going to see more of a trend in that. We're going to see huge advances in medicine in healing, in the energy of rays and frequencies and the invisible so-called space uh, between material objects. We're going to find that that space is in fact filled with so much information and beings and life um, that's extremely valuable. We're going to find that our mental powers are greatly increased and enhanced potentially. So it's uh, it's going to be a very busy time and being able to turn off from the media and all of these energies is going to be a real asset. So January the 21st, Pluto makes himself known into your 12th house. He will briefly go back into your 11th uh, between September and November, but just for a few weeks. Largely, you can say he's in this 12th house until 2044. So it's a big deal. What does it mean having Pluto in your 12th house, my lovely Pisces? For many of you, it's going to take you into a great passion for exploring the mysteries of life, for leaving no stone unturned, for finding your true spiritual path digging more deeply than you've ever dug before, finding new pathways, new possibilities. You may need even more time in solitude than ever before. You get so many of your answers from within. You'll be able to tune into that divine mind, that divine repository of all information that's ever been. This gives you that potential. So the exploration of the metaphysical world, the esoteric, maybe some of you will go into astrology, tarot, numerology, crystals, channeling, developing your intuition, the, the psychology, it's really deep and you'll get many insights. And if you will go within all your answers to all your life's questions of the mundane world, will be miraculously answered and solved. 
And you'll also, with that power, if you tune into it deeply, you'll be able to heal others, be able to heal yourself. You're given a great number of many magical powers used wisely that can help yourself and humanity at large. It's a really strong energy. If you're willing to work at it, it will take effort. Yes, it's not just about, oh, sitting and it drops in the lap. No. Have your visions, have your dreams, have your aspirations, which you tend to do, lovely uh, Pisceans. You are the dreamers of the zodiac. But if you're willing to really delve into the so-called unknown and light it up, you're going to get gems of wisdom and information that will solve your finances, your relationships, your home, your family, your career, your work, all of it gets resolved from inside. It's a very empowering journey. You're no longer at the effect of having to need this from somebody or need that, or you can't do this until you've got that. No. Going within, having a practice of meditation, maybe being creative, because you are very creative as a sign. Practicing that creativity gets you in tune with the divine frequencies, and then you're off on that journey. And it's almost maybe become even obsessive because it will be so enjoyable and so wonderful as you uncover one by one all these gifts. The eclipses start in March, April time. We start on March the 25th with a lunar eclipse in the 2nd and April the 8th, a solar, sorry, in the 8th and a solar eclipse in the 2nd. So activated greatly for the first six months of these eclipses. So that's from March to around September time, the second and the eighth houses. So there may be some considerable changes happening in your financial financial situation. You may need to make some changes, some adjustments. And it's also triggering an invitation for you to explore your gifts to maybe turn a hobby into something that can make you money. That's really valuable. You've got things inside of you that are of value to others. Are you sharing them? Are you sharing those resources, those ideas, those talents? This is what is being triggered here by these eclipses. Now, the second set of eclipses starts on September the 18th. We'll have a lunar eclipse in your sign, lovely Pisces, and then another solar eclipse Another eclipse, sorry, the first one was a lunar, but the eighth house being activated again. So you're going to get lots of opportunities for transformation, for transforming not only your finances for the better, but your relationships. Learning how to trust more deeply. To be able to transform any area of your life, again, if you're willing to change. It has to be this willingness to be adaptable. Luckily, you're a mutable sign. So you've got that on your side. And it's just a matter now of tuning into it and being ready to make the changes that you know you may need to make. And this eclipse for you in September time is going to be an opportunity. It's sort of your halfway point from your birthday to just look at how's the year going and do I need to make any changes? What adjustments do I need to make? And how can I express myself more clearly? And how do I want to be seen, perhaps in some new ways? The other big news is that Jupiter changes sign May 25th, coming back to that. And it will go into your fourth, sign, fourth house, where it will stay for just over a year, until June 9th of 2025. So, Jupiter expands, magnifies wherever it touches. It can also bring prosperity, good fortune, abundance, wealth. So this may bring you some real estate. It may bring goodness to do with family. You may buy some land. You may move. Jupiter often indicates a move, a relocation. You may travel. You may explore new places you've not been to before. It takes you on some learning, gaining some wisdom about your childhood, your family, your origins, your roots. 
It may bring to you a soul family of people from all over the world that you connect with that really, ah, oh, you just feel at home with them. So it can really bring some lovely new connections, a lot of lovely potentials, potentials there with Jupiter expanding your fourth house. Um, all the Mercury retrogrades this year are in fire signs. And the fire signs for you are your second, sixth and 10th houses. So activated in the April, August and November, December time by these fire Mercury retrogrades will be an opportunity for you to connect with the divine mind, the divine energies for solutions with your finances, your work, your career, what you want to give in the world, your life purpose, if you like. It's a wonderful opportunity. Again, you're tuning in with the higher divine frequencies. The Pluto brings that, and so do all those Mercury retrogrades for you. You may find people from your past come back into your life. Something you've been thinking about for a long time. You suddenly get an inspiration, an idea, and ah, now I've got it. Now I can move forwards. And finally, on December the 6th, we get Mars going retrograde until February of 2025 in your sixth house. Um, this will slow things down towards the end of the year, probably not a bad thing. And make it a time for integration and a time for you to focus your energy maybe upon your health and your well-being and reflect upon what it is you want to contribute, how you want to be of service joyfully to others. So very exciting time for you, potentially, my lovely Pisceans. Let us see what your Pleiadian Oracle card deck card is for this coming year. Take a quantum leap. And that's what this is. This is about you going into the unknown, the mysteries, the unseen. You're taking a quantum leap and it's going to take you into quantum worlds, new cosmoses, new universes, new perspectives away from the tiny. We can often get into such tiny little stuff, can't we, on a daily basis? Yes, there are certain things you need to do, but we get sometimes lost in it. This is going to open you to being so much more than just a physical body. So get ready for some revelations, my lovely Pisceans. I'd love to know whether these videos are of value to you. Please give me some feedback, some comments. I do read them all. They are a joyful labor of a lot of love and a lot of labor. And I would just love to know if they are in fact of use to you positively in your life. Much love. Bye for now.